Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the start of another weekly vlog. It's Wednesday morning. I got back yesterday, a little bit before six by the time we dropped my mom off, dropped the car off, got back home in rush hour traffic. Um, it was a little bit before six and I just was like a brain zombie the rest of the day. We did get everything, all our clothes unpacked. We got most of our stuff unpacked. There's a couple more like miscellaneous bags, like layless things, my camera, that kind of stuff that I have to uh, pack up, but or unpack rather, but most of it's unpacked. So that was progress. We went and got dinner. This morning I just was like, I don't know, I'm very anxious right now. We have a busy, busy week of work. I go back to work for seven days today and I have so much going on. We have our inventory tomorrow. I don't know what I'm walking into today because it's been a chaotic week because one of the other pharmacies like literally down the street from us closed last week. So I don't know. Their last day was my first day off. So I don't know how it's been and I don't know what I'm walking into. So I'm kind of stressed. I'm gonna be getting ready and heading into work. So this morning I thought I would have time to do my planner and I did not. I got up, had a hard time like getting a start. Like I was up, but like scrolling on my phone and I don't know. So I have to try to focus. Okay, my focus for this next set of seven days. Okay, let's talk real quick. I go back to work today for seven days and then I work until Tuesday and then Wednesday I leave for Go Wild. So I leave at like one, I think my flight is 1.50, but that morning I have to get my lashes done and then I have to get to the airport. So I have just so much going on and I really have to try to be on top of my shit and on top of my game this week. So I'm gonna try to focus these seven days on structure and really doing the best that I can. Now, was it a good start to not be able to do my plan with me this morning? Not a good start, but I got my planner spread caught up I had planned to do this while I was on vacation. So if you didn't watch last week's vlog or see my plan with me from last week, we went up to the Finger Lakes, we went up to Canandaigua Lake for the total solar eclipse on Monday. Today is Wednesday, so two days later. We went up with family. It was like the first time we've ever done a family trip like that. So it was really great. And we had absolute garbage weather for the eclipse itself. And I felt so disappointed. I felt so bad that I was like, brought everybody up here to this thing that I had talked up so much and then it ended up being kind of like, it wasn't a bust because totality is still the atmosphere changes that happen. So what happened, we had cloud cover. If you didn't see it last week's vlog, we had major, major cloud cover on Canada Equal Lake and Rochester had the same issue. I think Syracuse got like a minute of nice stuff. I don't know about if the Adirondacks were in the path of totality or not. I think they were, I don't know what they got, but Basically everybody like Western New York, parts of Erie and parts of Niagara Falls. We had beautiful weather. It was supposed to rain all day on Saturday. We had the most gorgeous weather on Saturday. Sunday, we had beautiful weather, a little too clear, like not enough like pretty clouds. And then Monday we had all the clouds. So we could not actually see like the Corona or any of the, the stuff like that, but you still got the experience of like it going completely pitch black at in the middle of the day for like three minutes and it was very very cool but i just was like i really wanted to share this experience with everybody because my mom and i have seen a total solar eclipse in beautiful weather back in 2017. so anyway so we were away friday we went up and then we came home yesterday so we were there like all day saturday sunday and monday we had plans and stuff going on but i was like oh i have time to like get stuff done and i did i got a lot of pictures edited because we, while we were hanging out i could just edit pictures while we were all like hanging out and talking and I, but I didn't do any of like, I didn't really take my planners out at all, which I had thought I would have time to do. But then like eight people sharing one house, like space, <laughs> finding the space to do that was kind of hard. So I was like, I'm gonna get back on track today. And like, I kind of, I, I mean, I did some catching up in here. I did my weekly reviews. Like I did those kinds of things, but I didn't have time to fill my plan with me. So tonight is supposedly dance class. I don't know if I'm gonna make it or not. It's all gonna depend on how this day goes with inventory prep, because tomorrow is inventory, so if I have to stay late for work, I won't be able to make it to dance. And I'm just kind of stressed, and I'm feeling like maybe I should not go to dance in general, just because I have stuff to do around the house. I don't know. So we're gonna try our best to like focus, structure, try to get back on track, 
get back into the swing of things and we will see where these next seven days because then I'm leaving for go wild. <laughs> it's like so much going on. So I will check back in later. I'm gonna get ready right now for work and head in and see what we're working with to start. Hello everybody, welcome back to Fox's Chaotic Life. I don't know why my phone looks blurry. I don't know. Anyway, I'm home from work. We had our inventory this morning. I missed dance class last night because I was prepping for inventory. We had inventory this morning and went fine. Thankfully that is over and behind us. And I was like, I'm gonna go for a run tonight. I'm gonna get myself back on track. I'm gonna like crush this week. I'm gonna start doing all the right things. I don't know if you can hear it outside. We got a flood alert that made me jump because it was so loud on my phone. Okay, and the time it took me to walk downstairs, it has slowed down, but you hear that? It is like torrential downpour and I got that flood alert. So I was like, oh, I guess I'm not running again tonight. My running cycle has been so jacked up. So I think what I'm gonna do is sit down with my fitness planner, make my plan for the rest of the month, give myself some clarity, sort it out, and go from there and start with that. All right, I sat down and I did, I did a couple things actually. I did first of all my, set up my habit, habit trackers for the month, which I hadn't set up yet. Yes, it's the 11th that I'm just getting it set up. Look, we're doing the best we can. This month is off to a rocky start and I'm blaming the universe and the moon and the eclipse and all of that. So, all right. So as you can see here, I had some five days of rest that I didn't plan on just because of how things went. So today is the only day that's not filled in. I made my plan for the rest of the month. My runs are all in there. I'm supposed to be running right now, but literally people are sending in pictures of like the highway here is flooded. Like you can't, not just like the bathtub was flooded the other day and we had to take detours. Like the road itself is flooded. Like, I don't know what's happening. April shower end times is what's happening. So I, oh, I meant to look up what my mileage is there. Hold on. It was 19, that's what I thought. So anyway, so that's the rest of my plan. So I should feel better having this all laid out, but then I'm like, oh, what am I gonna do tonight? So I gotta figure something out. Husband's about to start cooking dinner and I'm gonna refill my water and go up in the attic and figure out something. Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday morning. <sighs> I've had a sinus headache. This is the second day now. It has not stopped raining. We had flash flood warnings the other night. I think I talked about that. Yesterday, just aerial flood warnings, which I don't, I guess flash flood happens quickly. Aerial, just like general, I don't know. Like parts of town were like completely underwater. And I just got an alert when I woke up that overnight they lost 23 barges in the Ohio River. So there are 23 loose barges that are just smashing around in the Ohio River and they have to shut down the McKees Rocks Bridge because of it. Good times, good times. So we are kind of in end times. Um, husband and I were supposed to go out dancing last night and I was so tired. I literally came home from work fell asleep on the couch. Oh God, the wind, it's so windy still. It was like windy and rainy. So I fell asleep on the couch, like almost fell asleep on the couch. And I was like, I'm gonna go upstairs and just like close my eyes for a little bit. So I laid down and took like a 20 minute nap. And then I thought I would have energy and I had no energy. We made dinner. I had a video to edit, I got that done. And I was like, okay, we're the thing didn't start until 10, which like I'm too old to go to events that start at 10, especially on my work weekend. If I had been off today, it would have been different, but like I knew I had to be up this morning. I didn't want to miss my morning time sleeping in. So I, um, because I have to run after work and then we're going out with Danielle. So we ended up staying in. I just was like, I can't, I don't have the energy to go out. Like I thought like, I was so excited about the night and I thought it would be so fun. I did not. So I went to bed. So now I'm up, I've been up for about half an hour and trying to get a start of my day and I just feel like garbage. I feel, you can hear I'm stuffy, but I feel so congested. My head is just like so bad. It's like all here behind my eye. So here's my grumpy update. So today I have work, then I have a 13 mile run, which I have to plan a route for. And then we're going over to, um, we're going over to Amstel's house because Danielle's babysitting him this weekend. So Layla and Amstel can have a play date. We'll watch Saturday Night Live. And we're gonna try to write out, Layla has some cards to write out to her aunties that sent her mail. So we're gonna do that with two dogs tonight. So that's the plan, but I'm just like already exhausted from it. I'm so tired. I have so much to do. I have to pack for Go Wild. I have to 
think about go wild and I just have no energy. So that's my little morning check-in. I just didn't want to like abandon my channel here because I didn't think I posted anything yesterday because I was just so tired. And I don't know why we wouldn't have that crazy of a day. It's just been an emotional couple of weeks. It's really taking a toll on my energy levels. So got to go with what we have, what we have to work with. So I'm going to try to get some pictures edited, watch a video. I have a Sarah Cannon video that I'm behind on, not behind on, but that was from yesterday when I was at work. So I'm going to watch her coffee chat and edit some pictures and try to start my day. All right. You can hear the wind. It is super windy and spooky out here. But look how cool this looks. I mean, this is just... We have a break in the rain, but it's so spooky. My steps are a mess. I know this, this stuff has to go upstairs. <sighs> it's Saturday night. I'm headed out for my run finally. I'm leaving so much later than I wanted to, but I couldn't find a podcast to listen to. I just found out Dateline just released a new one. So I think they've got six episodes out. I don't know if that's the whole thing. We'll see. 13 miles cutback week. I just want to go to bed. Hello everybody, I survived my run. I ended up cutting it a little bit short because of time, so I like stopped at 10 and a quarter, which is pretty good considering I'm tired and grumpy. So we are headed down to the strip district because Danielle is babysitting Amstel. I've been like on the verge of losing my voice, I think because I was out in like the pollen running. But anyway, we're picking up pizza. I'm like not in the mood for pizza, so I got a chicken salad, which is hopefully good, but um, we're headed down there and then we're gonna do arts and crafts with the dogs because we're going to do Layla has to send some cards to her aunties who sent her mail because she has a post office box so you can send Layla Grace mail and so I know I know Bubba we're almost we're waiting for daddy to get the pizza we're at the pizza shop waiting for it to pick it up so we are gonna um, write out the cards tonight we're sending them I'll show you when we get down there what they are. They're little, it's a little collage. It's a picture of Layla, a picture of Layla and the boys, and a picture of Layla and Lily. Can you see her? And how ridiculously cute she is. Look at her little face. Look at her little face. Hi. Anyway, so, and then we're going to try to get their paw prints, like with an ink pad. This could be a mess. Sorry in advance, Barb, if we make a mess of your house. <laughs> we will clean it up, I promise. But anyway, that's what we're going to go do. I'm already so tired. I don't know how I'm going to make it to Saturday Night Live. Like, it's 10.15 and I really... Oh, no. Oh, no. She's driving. <sighs> okay, I gotta move her before husband gets out here with the pizza. So, anyway, that's the update. And then tomorrow, I'm meeting my friend Naomi for a couple more miles. We're going to go for four miles tomorrow. And try to see if we can see... If anything is still flooded downtown, if we can see anything, get some pictures of that would be cool. So, I thought about doing that tonight. And I was like, I just don't want to go downtown in the evening. It's going to be dark. So I ran like through Frick Park and then into Regent Square, up through Point Breeze. And then I was going to run through Highland Park again and come back up that way to get the 13 miles. But I just ran a little bit through Oakland and then came up and came home that way. Dateline has a new podcast called Murder in the Hollywood Hills. And it's very good. I'm on episode five, I think of six so oh my goodness here she's falling what are you falling how are you now she's standing on me okay anyway I'm, i'll check back in i'll show you what the project that we're working on you crying because you're at steli's house and steli's not down here auntie's coming to get us okay oh look how cute this board is Oh, look at that. Layla, look this card. The they card. got you a card here. I'm willing to eat this card when you're not looking. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's I had to write you and let you know what a very sweet girl you are. I love all of your fun, exciting adventures. Your place right in my day. Love your friend from Utah. <gasps> Utah. Utah. Oh, my Utah. goodness. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, such a good job. Steli, who came over tonight? Was it Layla Grace? 
Did you see Layla Grace tonight? Is Layla Grace here? How do you know her name so well? It's your buddy. And spe speaking of Layla Grace, hello, ma'am. Hello. So we are on the river trail and it is flooded at this point. You can come up onto this part. We're gonna go across the bridge, but totally water up to the... All right, now we've made it to the 10th Street Bypass. You can't drive on the 10th Street Bypass. This is where the ducks were like taken over. Even when this dries up, look how much mud there is. This is gonna be, whoa. And now we're at the point almost. And it is... Yeah, Mr. Rogers is on high ground, he's okay but the walkway up to him is totally covered. This is so wild. I interrupted your narration. You're fine. <laughs> home from work. I did my run this morning with my friend Naomi. We had a great time. We got to see some of the flooding. Most of it has cleared up. That could change because it might flood again. So I wrote it in my HB90 planner so I have to make it happen that tonight I'm going to go right. So I'm going up the hill to the 61C which is the coffee shop where her husband and I met actually and also where we got engaged. Um, we used to go there all the time. We haven't been there very much recently but I'm going to a coffee shop with my notebook and I'm going to work on my book. I feel like excited, but too nervous to leave the house. So I've been like procrastinating, but anyway, let's do this. All right, everybody, we're gonna try to go right. Writer outfit of the day. We got comfy old jeans. Got my Palm Springs hoodie on, because it's like gonna storm. And Palm Springs is where my book is set. i try this. All right, so it is looking pretty spooky. It's weirdly still right now, but the wind has been really crazy. But right now it's like creepy still and very humid. So uh, <laughs> we'll see. Good morning, everybody. It is Monday morning. I think I'm finally through the sinus headache. I was worried that because we ate a lot of salty food last night and it stormed, these things combined, I would have a headache again, but I'm okay. I think I'm okay. So anyway, I leave for Go Wild in 48 hours plus, what, five hours? So yeah, not that long. I have not packed yet. Tonight, I'm going to pack. I don't even know if I have everything that I need. I had ordered these cute little, um, so 
Pennsylvania State Cryptid is the Squonk. I had ordered these cute little Squonk stickers to go in my table mate gifts and I accidentally ordered the wrong amount and she shipped them like the next day, I got them super fast, so I was like, oh shoot, as soon as it arrived, I realized what happened. So I went to order the rest of them and now she's like on a shipping delay. So I'm like, of course. So those will not be going in my table mate gifts, but I have to pack my table mate gifts up. This morning I just had like the realization that I have a three quarter mile walk between the hotel I'm staying at and the conference hotel. So, so just briefly, if you're new here, I'm going to the Go Wild Planner Conference. I'm leaving on Wednesday. The conference starts like, technically on Thursday. So I went to this in 2019 in Vegas and it was like a blast. It was an amazing experience. I had been planning to go in 2020 again and there was a lockdown. So it was canceled, postponed until I think 2022. Two, and it got scheduled for a weekend that I worked, so I couldn't go. So then 2023, it was in DC. I couldn't go again. Same thing with work. This year I'm going, it's in Dallas or Arlington, which I guess is like maybe a suburb of Dallas. I don't know. So anyway, I leave on Wednesday. The conference starts Thursday and then it's like officially the, the panels and speakers and everything are Friday and Saturday. So I really have to get everything together. I really have to pack tonight because I work today and tomorrow. And then Wednesday, husband's gonna drop me off at my mom's house in the morning. And I'm going to, I have a lash appointment before the, I get on the plane, which makes me nervous because like I feel like the plane air just like undoes the glue of my lashes, but what can you do? It's the only time I can get in there. So he's gonna drop me off in the morning and then I'm gonna drive over to my lash appointment and then my mom's gonna take me to the airport at like 11.30 or noon. And then my flight leaves at 1.50. So I have to have my stuff together. I have to be packed fully and ready to go in the car by like 7.30 Wednesday morning. So literally like 48 hours. Well, not, it's like a little bit before six. So I'm gonna do my planner. I'm gonna do all my things this morning. I am debating if I'm going to bring a carry-on size suitcase. I said, okay, so go wild, bring a second suitcase. Like bring a suitcase that has nothing in it because you're gonna need a second suitcase for all the swag you get. So I'm debating if I bring a second full-size suitcase or if I get a carry-on size suitcase. So regardless, I have to go to the Verizon store tonight because Layla scratched my phone protect screen protector so I have that Assurian insurance. So I got a new one. I guess she must have stepped on it. And it's I've been dealing with it, but it's starting to wear down in that area where the scratch is. So I didn't want to like damage the phone underneath it. So I ordered a new one. It arrived. So I'm going to the Verizon store to have them put it on. They're open till eight tonight. So as soon as I leave work, I gotta go straight there. And then I thought I'd stop at Kohl's and get a carry-on suitcase because TSA broke our old carry-on suitcase. But the more I'm thinking about it, maybe I should just take husband's full-size suitcase. I don't know. The other thing that I did was this morning I ordered like a grocery cart on wheels, like I used to have when I lived in Boston. When I lived in Boston, I didn't have a car. And usually for my big grocery trip, I would just take a cab. We didn't have Uber back then. I would take a cab to the Star Market and do my big shopping trip and then just take a cab home. Or I would take the tea there and take a cab home. But if I just needed like a short thing, there was a Whole Foods I could walk to. And so I had this little like grocery cart on wheels that I could take so I didn't have to carry the bags. So I ordered another one of those because the one I had in Boston, that was almost, almost 20 years ago I lived in Boston. That's crazy. Next year, it'll be 20 years since I lived in Boston. Wow. So I bought that this morning so I can have that to take between my hotel and the conference hotel. In Vegas, I stayed at the conference hotel because they had tons of rooms. This year they had sold out of rooms like so fast, so much faster. Like the conference itself is not sold out. I don't think. I think you can still get tickets as of today. But the conference hotel, and then there's like a sister hotel that connects by a sky bridge, and that's also sold out. And then I got in at the Sheraton, which is now also sold out. It's kind of like weird. Like, how are there so many more seats at the conference than there are hotel room spots available? So I don't know. But it's about a three quarter mile walk. If the weather's good, I can walk that easily, but if it is raining, because we might get thunderstorms, I might have to Uber, we'll see. But I figured if I have this cart on wheels, it's like not ideal, it says it weighs four pounds, so that won't take up much space in my luggage. But 
it might take up space like when I'm sitting at the table. But then like I know I'm gonna have to be bringing my scrapbooking supplies. I'm doing the scrapbooking session on Friday. So I'll have to be bringing my scrapbooking supplies to the conference on Friday. And then on Saturday, I'll bring my table made gifts and then both days bring home whatever swag we get. So I think this is the best solution. I ordered it on Amazon. It should arrive tomorrow. So I feel like I don't even want to like start packing until tomorrow, but I, don't know. I need to pack. I don't want to bring. <laughs> I'm like, oh God, what do I bring? You know, bring your planner supplies, but that goes in my carry on mostly. So anyway, just rambling now. I'm going to do my planner. I'm going to my plan with me this morning I gotta print my kit I'm using a kit from Keisha from a little spark for my go wild kit and I'm gonna print that now while I am doing some mute doing some um, picture editing I did write yesterday I forgot to tell you that was the other part I was like I know there's something else I want to talk about I did I didn't write words but I did outlining and planning and like some drafting stuff and I worked with Stevie a little bit to work on some questions I had about my plot and like Man, I feel good. I was there for about an hour and 20 minutes, but some of it was like dilly-dallying because I got caught up in a conversation on the Go Wild page about what was your favorite Go Wild memories and favorite planners gone wild memories and I got all emotional. Um, but other than that, so I, I clocked at least an hour of actual work time, even with like distractions. So I'm pretty proud of myself. And I'm hoping, my goal is to be mostly packed tonight, add the last couple things that are arriving on Amazon tomorrow, tomorrow night, and then tomorrow night go out and write again. It's the goal. We shall see. But I'm going to get started right now and I'm waiting for the coffee to finish brewing and I'm going to go get a cup of coffee and start my morning. Hello, it's Monday night. I'm running errands after work. First stop, I have to try to get my phone screen replaced here at Verizon because Layla stopped on my phone screen. Just a phone screen, I think. But let's see if I have the ability to do this. They usually are really good about this, but let's see. Y'all, the retail code. We all understand each other. I walked in there, they had one person ahead of, they were work with somebody, one person ahead of me, and then they had mine to just, all they had to do was replace the screen protector, um, which doesn't take very long, but you know, they have to be free to do it. And this lady comes in and is like, we're, ne we're buying a new phone tonight. And he's like, we're closing in 20 minutes. You can't. And she's like, you're gonna have to stay. And that's what she told him. Don't ever tell a retail person that because you came in at the last minute, they have to stay don't do it. It's just not right. So I was like, my friend, solidarity. And he's like, yeah, it's not okay. I would never ask that of anybody. And I was like, that's because you work with the public. We know, we get it. So anyway, phone screen is fixed. Let's go get another suitcase. We're going to get dinner. I'm going to try to write out of the cage. I'm like so sleepy, but I'm going to try. Writer outfit of the day. We got my Olympic National Park softball shirt and the same jeans from yesterday because these are the jeans that I have, and yeah. not feeling great, y'all. Gotta clean stuff to put away. <laughs> I have like layers. Hold on. I'm going downstairs, and I'm walking the downstairs things. This goes in the recycling. This goes in the dishwasher. It's Layla's like it's an acorn. It's like Kong, but it's got different textures that she likes. So I'm walking the downstairs things downstairs like a grown up. Look at me going after my goals. It's Tuesday morning. It's day seven. I am so tired. <laughs> I have to make it through one more work day and then I have to pack. I am not packed for Go Wild. Okay, so I did yesterday get my phone screen replaced. I keep saying screen. It's the screen protector. That's all. The screen protector. Layla stepped on it and ripped it a little bit. So I got my screen protector replaced and then I went and got my suitcase at Kohl's, which I ended up getting one that's not carry on size. It is called a medium size. And I'm flying Southwest, which is what I primarily fly because I'm a Southwest stan. But I, you can take two, but two checked bags for free with Southwest. So I figure that's fine. I will use this one that's medium size, one, one large suitcase and one medium size suitcase. I'm gonna try to put my heavier stuff in the medium size suitcase. So like my hair dryer, my toiletry bag, my table mate gifts that weigh a lot. Um, I have to like assemble that and make sure I have everything together for that. It looks like the stickers that I ordered are not going to arrive in time, so that's kind of a bummer. But okay, now I'm gonna have a bunch of squonk stickers around my house and I don't know what to do with them. And then tomorrow when I go to get my lashes done, 
I'm gonna stop at the Eaton Park there because I'm gonna try to get smiley cookies because people were saying that they really like to have snacks in their table mate gifts because then if they're hungry on the second day, I don't know if we have snack time on the second day. On the first day, I know they always do, like last time, I forget who sponsored it, but they had like pretzel bites and nachos and hummus, I think. So we shall see, I can't remember if there's something. I gotta look at my schedule. I do have the schedule printed out. So I wanted to look at that and see. I need to figure out what scrapbooking supplies I'm bringing. I think I have decided what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my little mini printer with me. And then on Thursday afternoon between check-in and the kickoff party, I'm going to try to print some stuff out for Friday. So I'm gonna take like an hour or two hours and try to go through and print stuff out. And then when we go to the scrapbooking session, then I'll have it all printed. I was very torn between the Taylor Swift listening party and the scrapbooking session. But as you know, if you've been following me for any time, I always make excuses that I end up doing like chores or other projects before I do my scrapbooking and I need to make time for my scrapbooking. So I'm doing the three hour scrapbooking session on Friday. So I'm gonna try to bring, I am gonna bring my printer with me. It's small, I'll show you. That's the printer, that's the size of it. So it's not big, it weighs maybe like two pounds maybe. I just am due to change the ink in it. I'm gonna bring the ink in its sealed container and I'm not going to change it until I get there. Um, and I'm gonna pack it in something just in case. I don't know, you know, pressure changes on a plane. You know how that stuff goes. So I am gonna bring that. I have to get my table mate gifts all together. And then I have some like swap stuff that I got either at the last go wild or I got in like subscription boxes that I don't use and don't want. And I'm sure somebody will want it. Like I have an Erin Condren budget planner. I know somebody would like that. So I was gonna bring those things. They said we're not gonna be able to have like a de-stash table. So in Vegas we had, like in our hotel, we had a de-stash table like in the lobby where the elevators were. And you could like drop stuff off, pick stuff up. That's how I got one of my favorite little, it's like, you know, I call them planny packs. It's like this, it's not this one, but it says um, save the drama for your llama. And it's like one of my favorite ones. It's, I hold my skincare stuff in it when I travel. And I found that on a de-stash table. So, um, they said we're not allowed to do that this year at the hotel, so I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm sure people are going to say swap, time, meet up, whatever, you know, so you just carry them around. Um, my little like tote thingy that I was talking about yesterday should be arriving from Amazon today. I think I have a couple other things arriving that I needed. Oh, I ordered these like really cute, I don't know if they're going to fit, really cute pants. I tried to order pajamas for Planjama. They said they would arrive next day, and when I clicked on the next day part, it was with a $55 charge, and I was like, no. So I have to call the Sheraton today. Actually, I could probably do that now. They probably have someone at the front desk 24 hours, and just tell them that I'm going to have a ship to the hotel I'm gonna, and pick it up at the hotel um, tomorrow or Thursday. So that's that. I like last night I was feeling so panicked and then this morning I woke up and I was like, okay, I'm feeling so panicked. I got to get, get moving. And then I was like, I don't really have anything to panic about. Why was I panicking last night then? So I have some tidying to do right now. I have to do my plan with me. I didn't end up doing it yesterday. I printed everything out and cut my stuff. I'm using this from uh, Keisha from a little spark. Her go wild kit, which is like super cute. You can see that. It's, it's like candle lighting here that I'm sitting in front of, so it's not the best lighting, but I have to do my plan with me. I'm gonna, I'm just editing some pictures and watching Sarah Cannon's new video right now. I'm just trying to get moving, but I probably have to do laundry. I probably should make a list. I probably should make a list. That probably would help. Maybe I'm gonna do that and then I'll, I'll let you know. So you're gonna, I have to go to work today, but other than that, you're gonna come with me for all of my packing drama. Okay, I'm so excited. You know, I'm not good with technology. Y'all know it all the time because I say it all the time. But look, I figured out how to make QR codes. And this is for my Instagram and this is for my YouTube channel. And, I'm, and then I figured out how to make them into a little label. And now these little labels are stickers and they're gonna go in the back of my contact cards. Because I asked about getting them on the front and she was like, I could do that, but then it's gonna take away from like the aesthetic of your contact card. I don't know if I showed my contact cards. Oh my God, they're freaking adorable. I'm obsessed. Um, so. But she's like, what I would recommend is print a sticker with your QR code and put it on the back. And that way it doesn't take away the aesthetic of the front. And then you still have like, people can easily find your stuff. And I was like, dude, you're so smart. Thank you. And so that's what I did. And I feel so like a grown up. like, look at me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I did a real technology thing. I'm so excited. So 
Uh, I gotta start filming my plan with me because it's getting later and later and like y'all know how this goes for me. So that's what I'm gonna do next. Okay, other stuff going in my table make gifts. I literally bought these December of 2019 because I was like, I loved Vegas in 2019 and I was like, I'm definitely gonna go to Go Wild again if I can. And they had na announced it and it was my weekend off and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go. So I bought these, but I realized, I thought there was only eight table mates, you know, like it was like you plus eight people, but it's 10, so you plus nine people. So I only have eight of these and I couldn't find, obviously, since this was like four years ago, I could not find these. And so I, there's, somebody's gonna get like a, a fancier candle because somebody's gonna get the bonus candle because I couldn't find anything else. But I was like, I'm not gonna not give out these ones. Aren't they cute little llama? It's like, I guess this would be a tea light. You would hold a tea, no, no, I'm sorry. This would be a votive, right? A votive would fit in here. It doesn't say, but anyway, I thought these were super cute. So I bought these literally in like four years ago, waiting for this moment. And similarly, I don't know when I got these, <laughs> these little, like I call them boogie laws. Like my pap pap would always call like little change purse a boogie law. I don't know where that name came from. Is that some weird Slovak slang? I don't know. <laughs> some <laughs> mill slang? I don't know. But anyway, so there's like, they say no problema or they say party animal and they're really cute. So I did get these two to go in there. Oh my goodness, Layla Grace is awake. Pardon me, Layla Geraldine is awake. <laughs> Are you upset that I'm packing and I'm not packing you? Has begun packing has kind of begun. Layla Grace thought that if she put the fanny pack on, she'd be allowed to go. Layla, don't eat the fanny pack. I bought so much Go Wild SoCal <laughs> swag, not knowing there would be a global pandemic that would cancel it. Ma'am, ma'am, excuse me. All right, the big stuff is packed. I've packed my planner stuff, like my carry-on planner stuff tomorrow. Table mate gifts are packed going out to go to Williams event, even though I probably should be staying home and finishing packing, but here's the fit. It looks weird from this angle. It's really actually like very cute. So you look cute, cute, cute. It looks kind of cute. I mean, it's a crop top. It's Palm Springs crop top. It's Palm Springs crop top. I have to wear a shirt underneath it because I don't feel confident to not wear a shirt, but this is the fit going to right. Good morning, my friends. It is Wednesday morning. It is officially go wild day. I don't even wanna tell you what time I got home last night because it was like midnight. Last night, when I got home from work, husband was like, I'm not looking forward to going out because we're not gonna get home until midnight and that's so late. And I was like, I'm not gonna be out till midnight. He was right. <laughs> we were out until midnight. So um, Christian ended up coming, which was awesome because I haven't seen him in a while. We chat all the time, but like we haven't hung out in person in a while. And he always says he's gonna come out to these nights and then he's like, I'm too sleepy. And so he's like, I'm coming tonight, I'm doing it. And I was like, oh, sure you are. And he did. So that was awesome, so we got to catch up. So we, I was trying to write, husband was reading something like a workbook and Christian was trying to draw. And like, it was like so loud and like so much going on and Christian kept going like, I can't focus, I'm overstimulated. There's too much going on. So we ended up chatting more than writing, but I did write a little bit. And I talked about my book with them a little bit. Um, sorry, I'm like tidying up the kitchen as I'm like standing here. <laughs> so this morning I have to finish packing. I'm almost done packing. I got all my table mate gifts. I got my printer. I got my little um, travel, the thing I, I got this travel dolly thing so that I can bring my stuff back and forth between the two hotels. And it's really awesome and it moves very smoothly, but it's kind of smelly. So I have it outside right now. I put it out on the porch to like air it out into nature. Probably a raccoon's gonna run off with it is what's gonna happen. But I have to finish packing. My clothes are all packed. I just have to pack, pack my planner stuff that goes in my carry-on that I take like with me on every trip. Um, I have to do that. My laptop, pack that up. I have to pack up some more stuff for the scrapbooking um, session that I'm going to, but I started that. Yeah, really it's not as much as I think it is. It mostly packed, like I got all my clothes packed. That was easy, because I'm packing all my like Go Wild planner shirts, mostly. So, it's gonna be okay. So in less than 12 hours, 11 hours, because time change. Right now, 12 hours, 12 hours. 
in less than 12 hours, in about 12 hours, I'm going to be in Dallas. <laughs> I don't know. It's like it's quarter to six Eastern and I'm going to probably land. It says we're going to land at like 3.30 Central. So that's 4.30. So yeah, less than 12 hours. I got this. I can do math in the morning. So anyway, I'm going to have my coffee and finish the video I started watching yesterday and then start the final packing and then I got a shower, I got to do my nails. But I can do this. I can do this. Hello everybody. It is Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? It's Wednesday. We're getting to the airport. It's time for Go Wild. I'm going to close out this week's vlog. I'm going to start my Go Wild vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I finally got packed. I'm going to tell you how long it took. It took a long time. And I'm finally packed. We're heading to the airport right now. We're actually pulling into the airport right now. It's time to go. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you are new here. And as always, my friends, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I will see you in my next video.